A community in mourning after a child dies in a Madisonville house fire last night. The fire rescue squad responding to a home in the 1200 block of Lincoln Drive. A neighbor sharing this video with us as flames were shooting from the roof right as crews got there. Firefighters found the child inside. New here at 4 WAT6 on your side's Kirsty Crawford talking with neighbors today, <laughs> telling us how that community is now stepping in to help out. He automatically just ran out of the house, you know, to go down there because we, you know, we knew they had a sick aunt that lived with them that, you know, was hard to get around, plus, you know, all the children. So we ran down there and everyone was out of the house that we felt. Pat Lancy says she ran out of her home while her neighbors were running out of theirs. Black smoke rising from the house. It didn't take long before flames started showing through the roof. Lancy says at first all inside the home were accounted for, but after some time passed, another head count revealing the opposite. So everybody started, went back in the house and, you know, or went to the neighbor's house to see how many kids was in there. And then the fire chief's wife had their suburban here and one of the kids was in there with uh, her granddaughter and the baby wasn't in there. And then that's when we realized that there was a you know, baby missing. Firefighters confirmed that the baby died in the fire. The child has not been identified yet. Today, neighbors and even strangers stepping up to help in any way they can. People that I've never met and I've lived here almost three years, just come up and ask them like, what size of shoe do they wear? What size of clothes? Anything to get you through the night? Do you need a blanket? A hoodie? I mean, socks, dry socks. Like they were barefooted. They didn't have shoes on their feet. They didn't have jackets on their back. My grandson is six years old and he has the heart of gold and last night he told me, he said, Gigi, I'm going to go through my toys tomorrow and go get Braden some toys because he don't have none. All his got burned up. Neighbors say there were four kids living in the home with their grandmother and their great aunt. Christina Kirkland has a son similar in age to the oldest child. He was the first in their home to see the flames. He cried because um, he was like, every time I go over there and play, his little sister always wanted me to play with her and hold her. Both Lancy and Kirkland gathering clothes and toys for the surviving children, and they asked the community to do the same. Let's help these people, you know, let, let's help our neighbors, because that's what it's all about. You know, it's helping each other, because, you know, that could be us. We don't know. Reporting in Madisonville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6, on your side. Tragedy all the way around. Uh, the Madisonville Fire Rescue is hosting a critical incident stress debriefing with the Tennessee Federation of Fire Chaplains, helping the crews who responded to that tragic scene. Now, the TBI is assisting in the investigation into the cause of the fire. They are waiting to release the name of the child.